on the 1971 C10 Spanish Gold. Well, we're not really working on it today. I promised you guys we were going to work on the 68. We're going to work on that in a second, but I do want to show you what's been done here. I really want to work on this, but I promise you to work on that. Oh, I kind of like working on that too. So let, let's let's get to what we've got going on. Let, let me show you. So first, I don't know if you can see, but I put in a tranny cooler. So we had talked about the transmission cooler before. Yeah, it's just a lot of black. We deal with this all the time. I'm going to get you down in there. So I bought a four-pass tranny cooler. And you can put them in front of the radiator, or in this case, of course, it doesn't matter. I don't like stacking radiator and, and condensers and power steering and all that. I'd rather have less stacking. So I'm too deep here between the radiator and the cooler here and the radiator and the training cooler here. So that's put in P-clamp, rubber clamps, ain't got to worry about it wearing out and causing leaks. And then the hoses on the bottom, those are all wrapped with, well, they call it wire loom, but some kind of protectant for the hoses that go underneath. They're all hooked up to the transmission lines right down in there. So I got some things in the mail, so I'll be working on this again soon. I got a fan shroud that actually fits this truck, the 1971 C10 in Spanish gold. I'll get the, oh, I'll get the, excuse me, right here. I'll get the fan on and or, the fan shroud on and then I'll get the radiator in and get the hold downs put on it so we'll get that next I finally got my hoses all situated looks like quite a bit in there I know but I bought these hoses with the 90s on them they're LS swap hoses a lot of guys use uh, so I put the parts number in my book right here the book that goes with the truck, so everybody knows what's going on. Everything's in there. So we'll put that away. Oh, excuse me. I wonder where that thing went. We haven't seen that in a while. It was under my book. All right. So I got these hoses situated. And I know there's a lot of hoses, and you, you can't see. But it, there's air conditioner hoses, and there's heater hoses, and then there's the bypass in there. But I got all them cleaned up and put away. I like a bypass better than just a shut off because it continues to circulate. I don't know if it's that important, but they're all clamped down and everything's done there. So enough on the 701. Oh, I do have one more thing. I got fluid in my washer because I got my straw in there and suck out fluid for my windshield square. Oh, you don't care. So what we're working on now is a 68. Yeah, this is the mess I got going on over here. Get my tripod. All right. I didn't video tearing this apart. And I, I got my gloves on. I didn't video tearing this apart because you kind of see my mess. And it didn't go as, as smoothly as, as I would have liked. But it was as smoothly as I probably expected. I tore up the boots, which, I mean, they were old. But the tie rods, tie rod. And the ball joints are all super tight. I mean, they're in good shape. So I went ahead and bought new boots. I'll show you that. I got the brake parts out of the new drop spindle. They don't mark them right a lot, but it's kind of obvious which one of them are right a lot. But the dust shield, we'll figure it out later. So let me show you. I said, I said later, later already. Oh, yeah, we got plenty for later. Let me show you what I got going on over here on the table. Um, and I promise you something else. I'm going to hold good on all my promises today. So over here on the table, we've got brand new brake. Caliper. New, new, shiny new. Good. Five bolt, five on five. Got the tool set out. pre grease my bearings. I did the hand method. Used high temp bearing grease on that. Got all my, my seal set out. I got everything good. But back here, that's what I want to talk about. That's what I've been telling you to talk about, and I'm not going to tell you I know anything about it. But I will kind of point you in a direction. Um, I don't know if you can see my face. I don't know if you want to see my face. You probably just want to see what I'm talking about. But you can probably see both. If you don't like my face, look away. So you got, when you go to a parts store and you say, hey, I want some anti seize Because it's a good idea to put anti seize on some of these parts. So later on in life, when you want to take them apart, they can all rest it together, especially up here in the north. 
But anywhere, it's a good idea. And the bolts just, just rust together, it doesn't take much. So they'll send you with some aluminum anti seize. That's just their go to. And it's the last thing I'll ever use. We'll get into galvanic corrosions, and there's different kinds of corrosions. I don't know them all. I'm not a metallurgist, and I don't pretend to understand it all. But I do understand if you have a metal or steel, we'll say, steel, nut, and bolt. Why would you put aluminum anti-seed between it? Now, you might be thinking aluminum will be easier and it's a softer metal to break apart. Makes sense. The grease, whatever grease they use as a base, is going to help already keep your water out. It's going to corrode less. But by putting in a metal that has a different pH happy spot, aluminum, with steel, they'll tend to create a corrosion between them some kind of electrical something or others that deal with stuff I don't get, but it doesn't matter, it happens. So don't use aluminum. Next in line, we've got copper. Now I got two coppers here. I got a copper for brake lube. I don't know, I never wanted to lube my brake. I'm sure they mean the parts. And the other copper one is a different, this is Loctite, this is 3M, I prefer 3M, it doesn't matter. And I bought both of those, and that's just wonderful, because yeah, I don't use those either. Copper's softer, it's less reactive, so it's more better. Yeah, that's not right. But as anti-seizes go, seizes is, because it's anti-seize plural, so anti-seizes is, yeah, we're not saying that again. As all these anti-seize go, it's better. Well, better's not good enough, so I found us nickel, which would be like chrome, nickel, chromium and it's less reactive again so it's even more more better but this last one on the end down here is mycin toxin see each of these have a different base grease or maybe they share the base grease I, I don't know I'm just telling you if, if you're interested in these for both nuts and bolts not season up in between changes or usages you should research the chemistry and get just as absolutely confused as I was. <laughs> and maybe you'll go to the best of all, in my opinion. This here is the stuff. I even got a little brush to put it on me. Now each of these has its own brush in it, so I got the idea from them. It's not like I'm you know, messing with all that. But this is all the different greases I use and at the end of a tube, and I just put them in there. And it's just grease. And that worked for me forever, my whole life that's what I've used, and then as I got older I want to do more better, and I tried all that, I'm not doing that, there's my talk on anti-seize, this week what I use, now on the brakes I won't use much because you shouldn't put grease on brakes, maybe you can use the copper brake lube, I don't know, and there's some other stuff, but there's not much that really needs lubed in here, this is already pre-lubed on these, like I like pre you know, I might put just a little dab on these, I might just use grease, but I'd probably use the copper. What I'm getting at is, you figure that out, but I wanted to enlighten you on why we don't use aluminum, and we maybe shouldn't use, I'm done with that. We're gonna, we, we got too much to do to talk about that. So let me get you over here, we're gonna start to work. We're gonna get to work. I don't know how close you wanna be today. Probably closer than I get you. But we're gonna move my tripod. We're going to try and get you in here where you can see a little something. Yeah, I painted it all black because that's what I do. But you can see what I'm getting at. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna take two seconds. Two seconds to get you closer. All right, we're in there. This is it. I'm done. That's it. Right here's where you're going to stay. You can see my hands. You can see my hands while I'm working in there. So I didn't show you on the bench. I'm not moving you back. Because I'm not just going to keep moving you. i got new boots. Not for my feet, for the chalk. I already put one on a tie rod end. These are actually dust collectors. People think they're designed to hold. I already got. Oh, all right. They're designed to hold the grease, and they're really not. They're designed to hold the dirt out, and in doing that, they hold grease. Again, another discussion. I'm not gonna. Have. All right. So the lower. I should have pre-fit these, just so I didn't look stupid. Oh, that goes good. I like that. Oh, I should just turn this video off right now when everything's going just good, like it should. Uh-oh. See? Oh, no, that's... That's going to be all right. going to be all right. 
Tom Mary's tight. Not bad. Not bad. Well, let's just keep right on moving. I got this piece in there just propping that. It'll probably fall. Excuse my head. Huh. So far, so good. These are CPP. I spoke too soon. CPP brand. That's fine. It's going to be just ducky. Castle nut, king nut, crown nut, whatever you want to call it. Get that on there. Now, I should probably anti seize those because they have a pin. Speaking of which, I should have got new cutter keys. I got a whole box of them over there. I could do those later. I said it already twice later. But those are already kind of greasy. I mean, I cleaned them up, but I didn't like clean every drop of grease off of them. Lowering spindles. They don't look lower. Oh, I should have pointed out all them parts I took off. You don't want to see those. Is it lower? It's got to be lower. I don't know. I just put it together. I didn't build it. Or I'm building it. I didn't design it. Whatever. So we'll get this in there. You're probably saying it right now. You can't do that. Where's your springs? I didn't have them ready. Would you be patient enough to wait for me? I'm going to grab the springs. I gotta put the spring in there, don't I? Dang, gummit. I knew I'd do something out of turn. Is that gonna stay? Yeah, my hand's greasy. Alright, let me grab them springs. Okay, there, we hammered that in there. Should be. I've never done this before. Maybe, maybe you guys can tell. Did I tell you I'm not a mechanic? <laughs> you probably figured that out by now. But, we'll figure it out. Nice. She's in there, but she ain't in there. Your hand's not a hammer. I, I, should, I shouldn't have put that hammer back. That's right. Right there. Yeah, it's right. My finger's in there. Right there. But I'm not sure the bottom's clock right. The top's got to be clock right. I think we got it. Now I'm going to try and jack that up and hopefully there's enough weight without an engine to get that up in there without lifting the whole frame off. Yep, I'm going to look stupid. That's just the way it's got to be, isn't it? Yep, that's not going to work. We're not even going to be close. I'm going to actually get the straps out and do like some of the mother shows you watch. These are supposed to be lowering springs. They don't feel like they're much. Well, there you go. Now we're closer. They don't feel much lower to me. This is on jack stands for you safety freaks. And if I jacked it out farther, I'd probably get a little more compression on that. Let's see how much we need. You can put straps or something around here to put those together. And I'll probably have to before I'm done, of course. Why wouldn't I? Maybe not. Close. Does close count? No, close don't count. I think I can get it on there. Um, those didn't have washers. I like washers. I like put washers on everything. I don't think I'm close enough. No. No, I'm not. Let's readjust. Maybe I can get a little more. If not, I'll take a break and go get it right. Yeah, I hope I can edit that out. I really do. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay, we can do it again. Do everything else twice around here. What is going on? Let's get the jacks up higher. Or the jack stand. Yep. Always oh, gotta make me look stupid. Alright. That's, that's more higher, better. Alright, one more time with this silliness. Maybe I'll just get rid of this whole video. <laughs> If I got rid of every video, 
it went like this, you guys would have nothing to watch. I need a friend. Can I phone a friend? Is that, can you do that in this job? Can you phone a friend? I don't think you're allowed to do that. Can you hold that for me? That's why this jack's got handles. I think I slide it over there. No, I'm sure it's not. I'm only an inch off. Story of my life. If an inch was close enough. Everything fit, fit, fitted? Man, my English is terrible today. Everything fit better today. But what, what am I going to do? I gotta salvage something here. Yeah, that that's re ne next week. I don't know. We're gonna talk about hammers. <laughs> and what's not a hammer? Well, a hammer is not really a prop or a jack stand. But I used it for one. Don't fall apart. And make me look crazy. Not this time. We're gonna. Is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. Now remember, I make things look way harder than they actually are. This job is not this bad. I just I make it look horrible. I'm not sweating yet. Oh, we're getting closer. I'm getting closer, much closer. I'm getting closer when it comes to horse hand grenades and a few other things. Boy, that's close. I think I can do that. I don't have to use both my hands for grip shit. I might as well keep going English. Not an issue today. Push that, use a little knee, a little of my body weight, and if I'd have ate a bigger lunch, this would have been done already. Holy, 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 holy. I got it. I, look, I actually got it. I got it! Yeah, I got it! I knew I'd get it. I'm gonna get it one of these days with this stuff. Now I shouldn't be able to fall apart. Double check the clock spring, make sure it's what we want. Setting up in the top real good. I'm happy with that. I'm just not happy with how it looked while I did it. But not bad. Um, I can tighten all these off camera. That's not a big deal, but I got my boots upper and lower. Fitting real nice. I'm happy with those. Tie rod, I got those all threads all cleaned up on that. It's, it's just this easy. Just right in there. Put that castle nut on the bottom. I mean, you guys don't want to hear all these tools all the time, but basically just, I mean, you tighten down and then you'll tighten it more when you put the pin in for the castle nut. You do it by hand, you can kind of feel how tight it is, but find the next hole, put that in there. That's not going to be in our way for to keep rolling on this. As long as we got time, and you guys want to see some more action. I can show you some more action. We're going to move out here towards the end a little bit. And we're going to see about getting the next part that I, I don't know. So they sent two of these. And they're almost identical except for this hole. The holes are all drilled the same, everything's the same but this hole. So, being that there's no directions, we could go on here and that would give us some, I'm thinking venting, extra vent air. Or, I'm going to lay that right there. Or I can grab this other one right over here and show you. They sent us this one. And it's got all the same holes, the same except that hole is on the bottom which might be good to get extra venting <laughs> i don't know i kind of like it more on the bottom but it'll get more dirt in it but if you put it on top it, it won't have to be able to get out but it ain't getting out there anyway and does it does it matter probably after i get the whole thing together then it matters that's 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 what i'm gonna say so I can take it all back apart again. <laughs> stupid. I don't know. I just don't know. I like that better. This guy, I'm going to tell you what. 
Tom, who owns this 68, yeah, I said it, 68. I say 68 a lot. He lives on a dirt road. And I'm going to say that from the tire getting more dust and dirt, you're going to get more dirt with the other one. Right or wrong, that's how I figured out which one I'm going to do. There. With lock washers. Look at that. We're not going to talk about lock washers. We talked about lock washers once before. Go back and check out that video if you want to talk about it. Yep. Of course. I want to talk about lock washers. I don't know which video. Watch them all. It's more fun that way. And supposedly, they tell me if you subscribe, they'll tell you when my next video is out. But I've not found that to be exactly true. But it helps the channel out if you feel like it. I've got, you know, a handful of people that like to watch, and that's, that's all I'm after. I don't want your money. I don't want you buying my coffee cups and my t-shirts and my hats. And You can do that. Other people have them. They're pretty cool, too. Matter of fact, I bought a few. I bought one from Morsky, and I bought them from, well, it doesn't matter who I bought them from. But that's not me. I'm not after your money. I'm after your time. And if you don't enjoy it, do, do yourself a favor, don't, don't watch it. <laughs> but I truly hope everybody enjoys what they see and, and entertain, if nothing more, by how I do stuff. Because there ain't a lot of people in the world that go and grab a wrench to put something on. Oh, get them zippy tools. That's, that's cool. I like that. I like the feel how that bolt went in there. And I like to feel if it's cut together yeah, and feel if it's cross threaded. I like to know how tight it is rather than just three ugly duggas or four bleh, you know, those things. And, and again, there's nothing wrong with any of that. Just not how I grew up, not, not how I like to do it. Besides, I put all these on here like this. And when I get it all put together and find out I put the wrong one on there and take it all back apart and I know just exactly how hard it is. I got a fast wrenches. Come on, I'm moving up a little bit with the times. Speed wrenches? I don't know. Ratchet wrenches? Yeah, just round that off. No, I didn't. Got lucky that time. Alright, what goes on next? I can't even remember. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I got a pack of bearings. The first fit up, got them all greased in good. I put a little, like a finger extra grease in the back. Just, I like to have a little extra. You ain't got to fill the whole thing just full of grease and make a mess out of it. I mean, that grease ain't coming back out of the middle of this thing, but I don't think there's any reason to put, put it in there dry. Might as well just give it a little extra. When it's all new and clean, you want to leave it all new and clean. Just a little like these are packed in good, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, we're getting to another point. Oh, we don't want to talk about this too, do we? Right and wrong. I will go right and wrong with you real quick. The whole discussion on right and wrong. More right, more wrong. I'm not I'm I'm just gonna cover this real quick. There's a lot of rights and a lot of wrongs, and I know that sounds screwy, but right for this project, wrong for this project. You're doing something right, and you want it just the best you can have it, so it'll last as long as you can. And that's totally great. I didn't check this first. And that's that's good, and you should do it that way. But, for instance, I got an old lawnmower, and just, I just need one more year out of it. It's just, it's wore out. So, you might... Put some fix a flat in the tire, just knowing that that ain't the right way to do it. You should put a tube in there or get a new tire. But, <coughs> excuse me. I'm only going to run it one more year. So putting fix a flat in is, in essence, the right thing to do. Save your money on it and not, not waste a bunch of money on a brand new tire and a lot more that's going to be gone next year. So there is a little bit of varying degrees of what one person thinks is right versus another. If me or Tom does something you don't think's right, cool, don't do it that way. Or don't buy his vehicles. That, that's totally okay. 
but it isn't that we do it wrong. That, that's, there's my right and wrong speech. Well, you got a lot covered this week. Now I'm going to over tighten that a little bit. That's not the right tool, I know. It ain't going to hurt nothing. I'm just going to tighten it. Now that's good and tight. That's where it should be. Now that's going to get hot. And I'm not going to say how these go on and what's the best way to do it. I'll tell you how I do it, and that's why I use these pliers. Put it on a little extra tight, make sure it's good and tight, and then back it off one tooth is usually what I do. Spin around a little bit, make sure it's free, and go back one notch. That's me. And if I don't have any slop in it, it should have a little bit. Those bearings do not need to get hot. You'll burn the bearing out way quicker getting it hot than if it's loose. My grandfather taught me that. See? Not enough this time. We'll go back one more. We're going to run around a little more. We're going to play with it. That's, that's where I like it. Free wheel's pretty good. I want just a little play in this, though. Uh, maybe a little. So that's probably where I'll leave it, but I'll do that off camera. I'm going to let you go, but before I do, I want to show you what's coming up next. One more thing, and then I'll shut up. I'll be done. Over here, I'm not telling you where I bought it. You'll have to figure it out for yourself. Actually, Tom bought it. But this and this box right here is the fuel tank that's going to go right back in there. So that's what's coming up on the 68 next. I already discussed what's up on the 72 next. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for seeing me. Thanks for visiting with me. I hope you had some fun. We're going to have a little more fun next time. Take care, y'all. Can I shut that off? I never seem to shut that off. Oh, here it is.